get started. A good base starts with well moisturized skin. Even though I get quite oily in the T-zone, my skin still requires moisture. I use this one on most of my clients because it's super rich, hydrating and it preps the skin well for a smooth finish. I usually let that sink into the skin for about 10-ish minutes. After that's well set into the skin, I'm applying a mattifying cream to my T-zone. Skip this step if you have normal to dry skin. Let that also set on the skin. You will also see those areas that you apply to go matte. Look, I have to admit, I love full coverage foundation, but it's a nice change to wear sheer foundation and actually see actual skin through it. This foundation from Ben Nye is so light on the skin, I barely feel it. I'm applying it how I would usually do it, just with a foundation brush. I love applying it this way and get the foundation even all over my face. Then make sure the finish is flawless without any brush strokes. Um, and you do that by using a beauty blender. If you use the beauty blender damp, it won't take off any product as well. I didn't apply any of that foundation under my eyes because it's quite sheer. It will crease under the eye. So I'm using the Prolong Wear Concealer from MAC and applying it the same technique as I did with the foundation, just with a concealer brush and then blending it out with a beauty blender. And what I do is just apply it to under my eyes in a triangle, down the bridge of my nose and bring that up to the middle of my forehead. For my contour, I'm going back into that Ben Nye palette and picking up a darker shade and applying it to just the under my cheekbones and on my forehead around the hairline. Again, using the same technique, I can't even speak today, applying it with a brush, then blending it out with a beauty blender. This helps the product all melt into one and it looks much more natural. To set all this in place, I'm using my damp beauty blender and dipping it into translucent powder and dabbing it all over the face. The dampness in the sponge helps it set on the skin. You also want to dust off any excess powder so there isn't any powder um, left on the skin that you don't need. I will show you how to bake or cook in quotation marks on my skin but that is for a more full coverage look so I'll do an updated routine soon. So right now I'm looking quite flat slash matte so let's bring back some life into the face starting with contouring. Seriously what did we do before contouring? It just makes everyone's face look so much better. I go in with Java from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just focus that on under my cheekbones and also around the sides of my nose. Now for brows, I'm using the dip brow from Anastasia as usual. Just brushing my hairs into place so I can see the shape of my brow and what shape I want to create. Then filling in the spaces and shaping out the tail of the brow. When I get towards the front, I want it to look as natural as possible. So with a very light hand, I swipe the product upwards to create hair-like strokes. Now for the eyes, I'm prepping my eyelids with Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Then I'm lightly applying a very dusty rose in the crease. I want it to be super blended out, so don't worry if you get the shadow on the eyelid, as we will be covering up that later. With a darker eyeshadow from the same palette from Zoeva, I'm concentrating the shadow in the crease. This colour will help the lid colour we're applying later blend out well. I start off by applying it with my finger as with these eyeshadows I feel 
The best way to get the best color payoff is to use your fingers. And then when you hit the corners, I use a brush to get right in there. Then I go in with a larger fluffy brush and make sure both those shadows blend well together. So just for an added bit of shimmer, I'm applying this pigment right in the middle of the eyelid. This technique adds more depth to the eye. With that same light dusty rose colour, I'm using it lightly and blending it along the lower lash line. Then right in the middle, following where we applied it on the top lid, apply that same pigment. I love how this makes it look like you have a little glimmer in your eyes. Now you can leave the look like this, but I wanted to add a bit more colour. So if you're not too sure about how coloured eyeshadows look on you, coloured eyeliner is a great way to add colour without it being too overpowering. Just apply your favourite mascara to the top and bottom lashes. For lashes, I'm using Lash in the City by Velour. Do you guys want to know how I apply my false lashes? If so, let me know in the comments. For blush, I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks and then further back on my cheekbones. I'm highlighting the tops of my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. Now for lips. I'm just going to stick with something on the neutral side, of course. So I'm lining them with a warm pinky brown colour. This is Whirl from MAC. Then I'm filling them in with a similar tone, but it's much lighter. Thanks for watching you guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe for more videos.